In the government secretariat's waiting room, there's a plaque bearing the names of all previous chief secretaries and the dates on which they took office. Before 1976, the position carried the title Colonial Secretary. To play down any colonial overtones, it was later changed to Chief Secretary. Sir Dennis Roberts was the first Chief Secretary. The incumbent, Mrs. Anson Chan, is the sixth person to assume the position. She is also the first Hong Kong Chinese to get the job. Okay. Uh, that's a good timing for the job of Chief Secretary to be done by a local officer. I think it's very appropriate that, that uh, for the last three years before the change of sovereignty, and I hope beyond that too, that we will have a, a local officer in post. Mm -hmm. That's something we've been planning for for, for some time. Morning, sir. Very sad to be leaving, of course. In much the same way as the 1997 deadline accelerated the appointment of local Chinese to senior government positions, the China factor is exerting a growing influence on Hong Kong's government machinery. Sir Jack Cater, who became Hong Kong's second chief secretary in October 1978, recalls that during its time, there was absolutely no need to bring policy matters before China. We had contacts with the Chinese. We had, for example, uh, from a courtesy point of view, we would tell them what we would be saying in the uh, uh, annual speech of the governor. Uh, what we had to say to them nine times out of ten, obviously, was a matter of courtesy and uh, just telling them what we were about to do. And uh, as a friendly gesture. But they didn't expect us to do it, and didn't require us to do it. Sir David Akers-Jones, who took over as Chief Secretary in 1985, says China's influence on policy decisions can be traced back to the talks on Hong Kong's future. As 1997 has grown nearer, gradually that uh, the position of China and uh, what you call the China factor in our lives and in the life of the government has been growing and increasing all the time. Well, the China factor was very uh, important during the, the, um, the, the drafting of, of the joint declaration, of course, and during the negotiations. We were uh, entering a new phase in Hong Kong's history when uh, we were engaged in a dialogue with the authorities in Beijing, uh, really for the first time on a regular basis in Hong Kong's history. In December 1984, Britain and China signed the Joint Declaration on the Future of Hong Kong. Uh, and we have to work more closely with China. Uh, that's an inevitable consequence of the return of sovereignty uh, to China in 1997. That's foreshadowed in the, in the Joint Declaration, and it's, and it's certainly happening. And it's a complicating factor to the job of the government because we clearly have to take into account uh, Chinese concerns in our policy making and if we are making changes in policy or taking decisions which have long-term implications which establish obligations either financial obligations or legal obligations for the SAR government then uh, clearly we have to discuss those issues with China. Uh, it's a, as I say, it's a complicating factor, but it's, it's one which we recognize as, as necessary. The new airport project is an unforgettable episode from Sir David's many encounters with China during his term as Chief Secretary. In his 1989 policy speech, Governor Sir David Wilson outlined the Port and Airport Development Scheme covering a new airport, port development, and road systems. Some of the projects would extend beyond 1997, so China and Hong Kong agreed to set up an expert committee to look into the issues. For reasons unknown, 10 days before the experts convened for their first meeting, the Hong Kong government suddenly announced that the Qing Ma Bridge would be built using public funds instead of by private developers. The move was perceived by China as an unfriendly gesture. Repeated arguments ensued over monetary reserves and the right of scrutiny. 
，港英当局突然宣布，将其逆意中的青马大桥由政府自行撤资新建的决定，这种做法并不能视为明智。咁当然，我哋自己嘅储备基金呢。呃主要嘅目的都係要嚟啊，供我哋譬如有誒誒基建建設啊，或者其他嘅公共誒設施嘅嚇，所以用作呢個用途咧係好正當啊。主要嘅領土，全都花光啦。你說什麼吧？你說什麼吧？你說什麼吧 ？One can criticise the the exact timing, but the principle is an important one that that it was the it was within the authority of the Hong Kong government to get ahead and build that bridge. Uh, as I say, I think the 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 ripeness of that decision has been borne out in practice. Mm. Certainly, we did not regard, uh, and I've never regarded any uh, any of our handling of the airport as in any way confrontational. Uh, we have recognised from uh, right from the start that, that when we made the decision about the airport. That there would have been elements, that there were elements in the project that had to be discussed with China. The row over the new airport eventually escalated to diplomatic levels, and the storm did not die down until Chinese and British leaders signed a memorandum of understanding. The document states that all exclusive rights, contracts, and debt guarantees arising out of the project and extending beyond 1997 are subject to discussion between China and Britain. I mean, it's very clear that those elements that we have been able to to get on with by ourselves, those elements in the public works program, we've made tremendous progress with Hong Kong type progress, if I might say so. But in areas where we where we have had to have those discussions with China, those discussions have been very protracted, and I think that's a great pity. And、uh, we ought to be able to solve those matters much more quickly than we have been able to do in practice. Just before leaving office, Sir David remarked that as Hong Kong entered the latter part of the transition and political forces came into play, the Chief Secretary would face an increasingly thankless task that would grow more and more complicated.、Um, this is my first day in the, in my new office as the Chief Secretary.、Um, of course, I'm very excited. I've gone through a whole series of meetings,、um, and I look forward to the、uh, challenges ahead. I have no doubt that there will be, you know, ups and downs. But we'll, I shall,、uh, as usual, take that in my stride. Well, I don't suppose any job ever gets easier as it goes by, and clearly the next three years, or、uh, running up to 1997, are going to be going to be quite crucial. I, I expect、mm. the pressures on my predecessor, to, my successor, to be、uh, as strong, if not stronger, than they've been on me.、Mm. But、uh, every good secretary has to be.